Hey everyone, how are you? Good morning or good afternoon, whichever time you're watching. I decided to peel some corn, which I already did. And um, I'm gonna make my seat though. Jesse has a, had a few corns in, the, in his garden. He had surgery yesterday, so um, I um, had to go pick. So you can tell I'm sorry. So anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm dicing it into the, I'm gonna move this board into my bowl so that way I can fry up the maicito for him and then I'm going to make some fresh tortillas and then I have some um, green chili so I'm going to do the green chili and stuff but I had already I had already uh, peeled it and did everything and I had it in the refrigerator so I decided to do this so anyways and I do it in a bowl because that way it doesn't go all over. So anyways, welcome to Margaret's Kitchen. Comidas de mi familia. I've been helping my hubby. He had surgery yesterday, uh, September the 12th. And so we are, you know, he's has a, a little bit of a long road ahead of him. Like I've always said, he's a wounded soldier who's terminally ill. He suffers from toxic and chemical exposure from serving two tours of duty in Balad, Iraq. And if you want to know more, you know, get onto Veteran Warriors or Burn Pit Families page and, you know, and look at us there and you can find out more if your loved ones served in Iraq, Afghanistan, um, and you can learn more. But anyway, so welcome to Margaret's Kitchen, Comidas de Mi Familia. This was actually Jesse's um, grandpa. His favorite little meal was maicito, is how he called it. And um, so... Since we had a few years of corn, I had six years of corn, so look. So anyways, I thought I'd go ahead and and whip it up and do a quick video because I haven't gone on very much to make new videos, so I thought this would be perfect. And so, and it's just corn and green chili, no, no calabacitas, and some green onions. And um, so I'm not making calabacitas, I'm just making maicito with green chili and green onions. So I'm gonna, you know, so I decided at the last moment to go ahead and whip it up. So that's what I'm doing. So that's how my video started a little later because um, I decided to do that. So anyways, but that's pretty much it. How's everybody been, nice? I hope so because, you know, it's good to be nice and stuff. And, you know, some people can't understand the word nice and, um, I like using that word. I like talking on my videos. I like it, you know. So, anyways, that's what's happening. I'm going to turn on my skillet. I'm just going to start to warm up my skillet. And then I'll put a little bit of oil in it and, you know, whip it up that way. And my corn's already washed and everything. So, it's a good thing. So, it fries up quickly and... I'll probably carry my video with me over there so you guys can check out everything. Since somebody said, I wish you'd put the camera closer to video. Well, when you're recording yourself and you're alone, you can't always do that, you know? So you, you have to depend on what I'm doing. And, and I explain everything very well, I think. Well, I, I do. And so, anyway, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. So, like I said, this is just the the corn and um, you know I have different things to shred the corn with uh, we use a knife that's what my mother used my grandma used everybody uses knives and that's what I did and um, sometimes the little gadgets aren't always the best and um, and stuff so anyways thank you to everyone that has that have subscribed to my channel and just um, you know, everything. I appreciate it. I really, really honestly do. Let me get the green onions out. So I thought I'd put some green onions instead of the, let me put some oil. So I'm just putting a little bit of the, of oil into my, into my pan. No more than a, a maybe a couple of tablespoons and to fry up the, the maicito. And then um, the green chili, so I'm gonna do my onions right away. Dice them up. And you know what, and I prefer green onions. I love green onions. So, 
anyways, and after a while, make tortillas and, you know, warm some beans and frijoles viejitos, old beans. And um, so it'll be good and stuff. So it's been a quiet day. It really has been a quiet day for us. So which is nice because when you're healing, you like quiet too. And we don't mind visitors and that doesn't bother us. And um, so when it's quiet, it's so different in this house when it's quiet. So anyways, but that's what's happening. So this is like an easy little dish to, to do. You know, it's a fun dish, it's an easy dish. And um, see, so it's just basically about a cup of the, of the green onions. Let me get the chili out. So we let the chili get a little red so we can have what they call pintado. I love chili. Anyways, that's what that is. So anyways, um, so let's put the corn in and I'm gonna, I think I'll move you guys. I'm gonna get you close to my, to my skillet. I'm gonna move you down. So patience. Pacencia. So now this should make a few people happy that I did this, but my camera better not get too dirty. <laughs> so let me get my little and you can tell that it's already bien calientito. It's hot. So now I'm gonna put the maicito in. Ooh. Can you hear that? Yum! How does that look? You know, my cooking is very much uh, down home cooking. So I'm going to put some salt and pepper. A little bit of salt. Pepper. I love pepper. And I will put just a little bit of butter. Just because I want that buttery flavor. And it's just a little little bit of butter, just because I want that uh, buttery flavor. So what do you guys think? So remember, you could go to, go to NM Cookbooks. Cookbook, NM Cookbook, MariaBaca.com. If you haven't ordered my cookbook, my authentic New Mexico cookbook, it is amazing. And so I'm excited about that. And then also, you know, don't forget, subscribe to my channel, please. Give me a thumbs up, hit the little bell so that you can get notified when I do do when I do post a video and stuff. I would appreciate it. Look at that. Oh yum! So then, I'm going to get the green onions, get those ready. The green onions, see? And then the chile. So I'm going to put the chili and the green onions together. Now the chili is really to your preference. We like chili. This chili is about, um, it's hot, but it's not real hot. And so it's a, so I put probably about, uh, I would say about a half a cup, I guess. Yeah, that's about a half a cup. And so this way it's all together. And then, um, 
at that point, I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in there, garlic powder. Just a little bit. Doesn't it look good? And you want it to kind of tostar, you know, poquito tostadito. You want to do that, you know? So is this making a few people happy that you can see the food? You don't see me, but I guess you can. Hi. <laughs> Check it out. Yum. It smells so good. And so I'm going to let it tostar just to set a little bit. And so you know that I don't edit my 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 um, video at all. This is exactly how I cook, what I'm cooking, y es todo. And so that's just what I do. And so we, so this is called maicito. That's what Jesse's, uh, my husband's grandpa used to call it maicito. So he's just, it's corn in Spanish, in English. But it's, he called it my sequel because he'd just go and get corn out of the garden and then he, you know, he would shred it and or whatever, you know, to to take it off the cob. And um, this was, like I said, this was his grandpa Hermenes's uh, favorite favorite meal was my sequel, and it really is Jesse's one of his favorites as well. Let me see. Mmm, that's a good little sweet corn. Yum. And when I, um, when I, um, when I'm chopping my green chili, you know, roasting it, peeling it, chopping it, I always add salt and garlic to it. So, um, that's why you, I didn't put as much in here. So it's the cooking. So then remember my authentic New Mexico cookbook, Comidas de Mi Familia, Tu Sangre es Tu Sangre, my authentic New Mexico cookbook. And you can get it off my website, you know, www.nmcookbookmariabaca.com. Yay, look at this. It's, and that little bit of butter that you put in here, it just, to me, it makes just a little bit of a difference, you know, and stuff. So it's, a, it's great. Look at how great it looks. Y'all! So anyways, like I said, let's... I hope we've all been practicing to be nice. You know what? Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do. And then you have to just, you know what? Go back to the basics and rely and trust in Jesus. You know, that's what you have to do. Let him handle all your all your worries. It's, you know, he's the only one that can handle them for us. There's nothing big enough that God can't handle. That's how I've been seeing things lately. Look at this. And it kind of like shrinks your, your maicito a little bit, your corn. And I guess that's why he called it maicito, because it, you know, could mean it's a small corn. I don't know. I never asked him. I was... I had the pleasure of him being a part of my life for many years, you know, and um, but I never asked him why he called it that. I don't know if that was just his way of calling it or what. And then when he would do the maicito, he would also put um, he would put chicken in the, you know, he would do the chicken wings and he would just cut them. Oh my God, he made the best chicken wings, the best chicken wings. 
and you know he would just cut them you know he made little little drumettes before what uh, the chicken companies made him you know he was already cutting it up and so you know it's so neat to see when you know when the elders would cook you know and then now today there's rich people because somebody took those ideas from the elders and um and became wealthy because you know they came up with it and they were able to to do all this you know and so i guess that's how it is like with my cookbook you know no i'm not wealthy believe me i haven't become wealthy yet <laughs> i mean someday in my new life and um and stuff but you know it's um you know people cook i mean that's just how it is you know see it's starting to tostar and I mix it a lot because I don't I don't like it to get like scorched or nothing. I just like it to get a little tostadito. Yum, that's gonna be perfecto. It's gonna be perfecto. Mm, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yep, see? Look at that. How many are noticing the weather in the morning? It's starting to change. The weather's starting to change until it's just about the middle of September. Look at that. Look at that, how good it looks. And the weather's changing, I mean, quick. And then here in, in New Mexico, we have the New Mexico State Fair on, and then the balloon fiesta will start in October. So, a ver, let's see. It usually rains for the balloon fiesta and, um, and stuff, so, a ver. Mm. This is tasting so good. I'm going to not mix it for a little bit. Yeah, I wish I had one of those mirrors that you could see exactly what I'm doing. You know when you're cooking, it's I think it's called like a cooking mirror or something. Oh, maybe someday. Not right now. Well, Margaret's Kitchen is just down home, simple cooking. You know, uh, hubby can't eat too much or too heavy or too spicy. Even if it's you end up spicy because the other chile is a little spicy. <laughs> but he can handle a little bit. But again, you know, he suffers from toxic and chemical exposure due to serving two tours of duty in Balada, Iraq. So if you're, if you or loved ones or somebody you know, you know, send them to um, Burn Pit Families on Facebook, you know, and you can learn so much, or Veteran Warriors on Facebook. You know, we're very strong into both of those organizations and it helps, believe me. Ooh. Look at that, yum. Check on hubby real quick. Look at that. It's toasty. Look at you can see the tostadito on the on the back of the spatula. Yeah. And you know, it's, like I said, it's a cooked little meal.
Okay, so now I am going to add the chili and the green onions. And you can make this with canned corn. I don't, I never have. I make it just with, you know, fresh corn. So it's up to you though. You can, you just don't get that. I don't know if you'll get the same flavor or not. I don't think so, but because you won't get that freshness, you know. Isn't that beautiful? And then with a little bit of the pintado green chili, yum. Pintado just means that the chili turned red. Take my spatula off. I never, never hit my pans. It was a, you know what? That was a, a pet peeve of my dad's. He couldn't handle it if we hit the pans. He was like, stop hitting those pans, you know, because, you know, it's expensive to have to replace them and then you get a bunch of nicks on your pans and things like that. So he would, he, he would tell us right away, don't be hitting that pan. What's the matter with you? You know, so on the 17th of September will be eight years that my dad's been, been with Jesus. And every day I think about him, I talk. I'm always talking about him and I miss him so much, you know, but I just know he's in a better place because he certainly wouldn't like what's happening around here, you know. And if you can tell, I didn't put any more oil or nothing, let it just cook with what it has because you don't want it greasy either. Doesn't it look delicious? Get a little plate. We can do some taste testing. Look at that. Okay, I'm going to move the camera up a little bit so that you can see me. And I'm going to serve myself some. Just a little bit. Because look at that. Yum! Ooh, está bien calentito. And I still have the fire on, so, and it's okay. Right there. Look at that. Ooh. It's the chili, the green onions, and the maicito. Oh my god. Ooh. This is like delicious. Yummo. It's perfect. 
Well, hmm. I love it. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today for just this quick little easy recipe. Um, come back, join me again. I love you all. God bless you. Don't forget to do your squats. Don't forget to be nice. And don't forget to order my cookbook, nmcookbookmariabaca.com, Comidas de mi familia. And we'll talk to you soon. I'll be doing more videos um, as soon as hubby heals uh, as much as he can and stuff. But keep him in your prayers. Keep me in your prayers. Please pray for me. And we'll talk to you soon. Adios. Goodbye. Bueno, bye.